if you like to turn your phones down or put them on the old buzz a bit, that'll be good. Toilets are over here, men's and ladies and disabled. There is no smoking on the premises, but smoking is permitted outside through those doors. Could you come forward to read the live indication, please? Good food, good fellowship, and a privilege to serve. We give thanks. Thank you. Thanks, Lynn. Hugo, would you like to give the loyal toast, please? King of Australia. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Lions Club Purpose Statement. Promote understanding amongst all peoples, uphold good government and citizenship, help those less fortunate, join together in good fellowship and friendship, encourage open debate, and ask others to serve and promote high ethical standards. Thank you. Thanks, Steve. We'll take a seat if you like. Protocol. So immediate past president Steve Pearce, federal member for Grey, Rowan Ramsey, state member for Giles, Eddie Hughes, first district, first vice district governor, Steve Fawcett, zone chairman person, Anne Marie Fawcett, distinguished lions and guests. I'd like to welcome you all tonight for the President's handover dinner for 2024 and combining 50 years of lionism the celebration for that as well. Please take a moment during the evening to have a look at the uh, some of the club memorability and uh, have a good look at that because there's some real old stuff there. <laughs> Graham, hello. Yep. Graham's going to do the apologies for us. Okay, folks, if you'd like to just uh, have a chat amongst yourselves for the moment and we'll uh, do something about getting the entree. The wine on the table is provided by the club. Any additional wine and beer, etc., can be purchased from the bar at your cost. <laughs> Okay, we'll see you. Okay, we'll see you. Now that will be the most He's in for it. I wish 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 I those things where they do. Thank you. I'd like to ask Rowan Rams if he'd like to come forward. <laughs> Give a toast to the Lions Club International. Alright. Well, I don't normally bring a glass with me. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I don't normally bring a glass with me when I come to speak to you, but I'm going to oh, listen to it. Now I tell you, you were all on me. I thought the neck was quite reasonable. I think you've been a bit, a bit harsh there. Yeah? Um, so it's really good to be with you. I, I've got the, 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 I think, quite serious duty of proposing a toast to Lions International. Um, a lot of you would know, I've never been a lion, but I have I have a life member of Apex. And I don't think, in fact, we read out the invocation that that is identical and our ideals are almost the same. Now, of course, uh, I got I left Apex back in the days when they used to kick people out of 40. and I did, But I did 21 years of um, flipping burgers and fi fixing up old ladies' yards and whatever. And I, I know, <laughs> I know not just what <laughs> service clubs do to make the community better places. Service clubs work so well to make people better people, particularly those who take the effort to become parts of service clubs. So they become friends, but they become driven by an ideal to actually serve their community. For me, it gave me, um, we, we used to do a lot of um, debating and public speaking, so I guess it gave me some skills for something I might have been doing later on in my life. But it also gave me lifelong friendships, and I don't know how many people are back here tonight from other places that have made the journey back to 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 Wyala. Um, only a few weeks ago, Eddie and myself and some of the rest of you were out at the Wyala. Uh, I think it's Wyala uh, Lions Club uh, 60th birthday, and here we are at the 50th. Um, so. You've been there a long time, and I, I, all my communities, most of them have a Lions Club, and they're doing good. Um, it's a little more difficult than when we started. We used to roll up our sleeves and do actually more physical labour, fixing up people's places, scraping off paint, all that kind of thing. And of course, that's just about illegal now. And, and there's somebody paid by the government to do the job for the old people anyhow. And so largely our lives as people who belong to service clubs is raising money now for other, other organisations. But um, th that bond you build, um, the work you do together, the work you do for the community, I congratulate you and I ask you all to stand. <laughs> I'd love to do like John Lennon and say, those down the front, just up, just rattle your jewellery. <laughs> <laughs> and I propose a toast to Lions International. Good. Thank you, Ron. Now, Ugo, we've got a... Um, Alliance member of the travelling show. Um, they run around in caravans, they don't have a meeting place, so let's meet wherever. Wow. Graham Weber, who is a past member of this club, is now part of that, and uh, he'd like to just have a couple of words. <coughs> Foundation member. Back in the 70s, I moved to Bendigo, went to the Kangaroo of Lions Flat Club, and I moved then to the Brossa Valley. And three children in three years and one month. Um, work, study and union activities I had to resign. Just recently I joined the Motorhoming Lions Club of Australia. We travel, we don't meet physically like you do, we meet virtually once a month. We don't raise any money, we help other clubs. And uh, since I rejoined I've been privileged to be able to go along and support the Lions Club of Gore in their activities and 90 days in Western Australia, contacting Lions Club, exchanging banners, exchanging information and so on. So, Barry, thank you. Now, one of the finds will be that when I rang Barry, uh, earlier they said they didn't know me. And I went back to the records and I rang Barry and I said, I taught your daughter. He said, no you didn't. <laughs> well, he was right and I was right. Because back in the day I was deputy principal at Nicholson Avenue Primary School and his daughter was there. So we just worked that out tonight. So Barry, pay that fine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've got another one. Thank you, Rome. All right, well we might just have a little break. Um, <coughs> 
When he first got these hearing aids, he said, you, these bloody hearing aids, absolutely magnificent. He said, they work so well, I can hear a pin drop on your boots, fart. It's bloody tremendous. <laughs> and of course, I just said, well, look, yeah, that's great. Actually, I have, and I was, I was in the market for some hearing aids. And I said, what type are they? And he said, it's four o'clock. <laughs> You said that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now this was, I think it was Brian Marshall, actually. Guilty as charged, Your Honour. Brian Marshall. Brian Marshall goes up to this girl, goes up to this girl in this dance, and said, would you like a dance? And the girl says, well, he says, I don't like, she says, I don't like this song. And, and even if I did, I really don't want to dance with you. And Brian's pretty smart, he says, Oh, I'm sorry, you must have misheard me. I said, You look fat in those pants. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like me, yeah. That's what Yeah. And that's terrible. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I've got a bit of a longer one here. I was reading this today and I don't know, but we'll have a fine on our two politicians that are here today. Eddie's got more money than me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's true. That's true. So just bear with me while I go through this. The end is not bad. Um, <laughs> anyway, while, while walking down the street one day, the local mayor, who shall be filled to us, um, he was tragically hit by a truck and died. Anyway, his soul arrives in heaven and is met by St. Peter. And he says, Welcome to heaven, says St. Peter. He said, um, But before we settle you in, he said, There's a problem. We, we sell, because you're of sort of high stature, we, we've got to work out really when you, whether you're suited to here or not. And he said, oh, all right, well, all right. why don't you just let me in? And he said, well, he said, we'd like to, but the orders are from up higher. And so St. Peter says, well, what we'll do is we'll, we'll send you one day in hell and one day in heaven. He thinks, oh, all right, well, that's fair enough. So he said, um, well, they're the rules. All right, so anyway, St. Peter escorts him to, um, sorts the mayor, to the elevator, get on the go. Anyway, and he sits there and he says, oh, next minute he comes out and everything's nice and green and lush. And he said, they all they all, re they all <coughs> run to meet him. They hug him and they reminisce about good old times because there's quite a few blokes that he knows down there. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, they play a friendly game of golf and then they dine on lobster and caviar. Oh, this isn't too bad after all. Anyway, um, they also are presented to the devil, who really is a very friendly guy, who just got good time, they had a good time dancing anyway. So the next day, of course, is the 24 hours in heaven. Well, heaven's not bad, it's sort of just nice. Yeah, it's just nice, it's just running around through the bloody clouds, having a good time. You've thought about this, right? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm kind of sure. Anyway, so, so anyway, so St. Peter says, well, if you've been to boat, which one do you really prefer? Mm, well, he said, no, mm, well, I mean, heaven was good, but, you know, I'm probably more accustomed to hell. I thought that would probably be better. And uh, he said, look, I think I'll be better off. I'll go to hell. So anyway, so St. Peter escorts him back to the elevator, down he goes, down through the doors, the elevator opens, 
and in the middle, it's all, the, all you can see now is barren land covered with waste and garbage. And then he sees his friends and they're all dressed in rags, picking up trash and putting, putting it in black bags. And the devil comes over to the mayor and he, he lays his arm over him. And, and, and he said, well, I, I don't understand. He said, yesterday I was here and there was a golf course and everything was probably going great. And now it's a wasteland. And the devil looks at me and said, yes, yesterday we were campaigning. Today you voted for us. <laughs> Who's got the <laughs> 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 He ends up the call centre and he said, look, I've been trying 0700 2300 for two days and I can't get through to inquiries. Can you help me? And the lady says, well, where'd you get that number from? He said, it was in the door. It was on the door. And she said, yes, it was. That's her opening hours. <laughs> <laughs> if you are sleeping, send me your dreams. If you are laughing, send me your smile. If you're eating, send me a bite. Um, if you're drinking, send me a sip. If you're crying, send me your tears. I love you. And Paul replies, hmm, I'm in the toilet, please. <laughs> 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 And so I'm sleeping on the sofa back, and Mrs. Clay would cover me up with a straw bottle of cake food. And one Christmas, I got a bit of a cake. He's up the tech support, and he says, I need, oh, and the tech support says, Well, look, what I need you to do, he said, right click on the open desktop. And Mark says, Yep, okay, no worries. He said, Did anything pop up? Pop up menu? No. I said, well, he said, well, right click again. Do you see the pop up menu? No. And the tech says, well, look, can you tell me just what you've done up until this point? He said, sure. You told me to right click, so I wrote click, C L I C. It still didn't work. It still didn't work. in the booklet in front of you but I'll just read it out to you anyway because it's pretty much how I felt about my last five years doing this job. It's been a great doing this job. Mm -hmm. Alright. It's still a long time between drinks since we last you had our last handover. It's been five years since uh, we haven't had a handover since I took over the job. Because there's, there's always there's never been anybody stepped up and nominated to want to do the job so I've just continued on and so did Lolly for the last five years and Mark as well. And then, and then COVID came along, and that sort of stuffed everything up. There's no, no events, nothing was happening. So we just, we just rode the waves for, for a little while until we got over that. And then uh, Graham and I and Mark just kept on going now, up till we came to dominate for this particular handover. And uh, Lowe and I got together and said, well, look, you, you and I have been doing it for five years now. We really need to change. We really need to put somebody else in the job. So we just decided we're not going to nominate, we're just not going to put a hand up to do it this year. So um, I'm glad, glad that somebody else has, and I you know, wish him all the best when he, when he does take over. All right. Membership in our club, well it's been up and down over the last few years. We were quite lucky to be able to induct another four members over the last 12 to 18 months. And so far they've been very useful members, very good, hard workers. So it's, it's very good to have them on board. You know, you know I, look at, I look at the 50 years around this place, Rob, and, and then I'm amazed 
that we still have a member of this club that's been here for 50 years on the top. And it's, a, it's an asset. It's great to have a guy like Barry in our club. He's been here so long, he's, he's a true lion. So, well on 50 years. so since we come back from the COVID restrictions, yeah, we've been relatively busy. It's been it was quite handy there for a while because my daughter was the events coordinator at the Wallace City Council, so we had a bit of inside information with regards to what was coming up and getting a name down for it. So as you can see from the from the bit that the financing on the side, we've done quite a bit. We've managed to share out quite a bit of money over the last few years, over the last five years. A Seven thousand dollar donation to the special school for the gym equipment. Ten, ten grand over two years for Ronald McDonald House and a lot of other a lot of other bits and pieces we've done over the last five years. You know, just a, we don't like to keep our money, even though we still got too much in the bank, have we, Mark? We need to get rid of it. <laughs> so, you know, over 50 years, I look at the, the list of presidents from this club. You know, there's been a lot of great names. Some are still with us, and you know, a lot of you are in this room now, the guys that have been presidents in the past. And yeah, there's a lot I've met, a lot I've made lifelong friends with. Unfortunately, there's a lot of people that I haven't met yet, and some have passed on. But a lot of them are the great names, a great list of people that have run this club in the past, so it's been an honour to do this for the last five years. I would like to thank all the club members for their respect and confidence that they've shown in me, and freely given their time and effort to help support this club to survive and achieve. And their wives and partners for their support during my time as president. I would like to wish the new board every success and I'm sure that all the club members will support our new leaders for the coming year, the same, the same as they've done for me over the last five years. Yeah, so, so that's the report. But while I'm up here, I've got a few awards. That's my last duty as a president of the club. I've got a few awards I'd like to give out. Every member of this club has done a great job and every one of you deserve an award. Uh, but I've picked out a few that I think have stood out for me over the last few years, uh, that have helped out as much as I can. So I've got three presidents awards here that I'll hang out, hand out. First one is to a guy that if he wasn't around, I'd go hungry every, every second Wednesday. <laughs> Barry's been looking after us at club meetings for ages now. He feeds us, organizes all the meals. He does a great job. I even bought him a hat. He does such a great job. But he hasn't been wearing it for a while. So, so it's hidden Barry, would you like to come up here, please, Mark? Yeah, the second one. Oh, man. This this little guy, we stare him up about his stature all the time. All the time. The little box for him at the left turn here because he's too short to stand up for the yeah, But he does a great job on the van. Without him, we wouldn't be as organised as we are with our chip van. He gets all the orders done, he gets it all organised, and he gets it off the venue, and all we got to do is rock up. So he does a great job, and hopefully he'll keep on doing it. All right, so Tony, you like to come up, please, mate? And the last one I got, out of the President's Award, goes to a guy there's a lot of stuff happens in the background with our club. You know, there's things that need fixing, there's things that need installing, stuff that needs cleaning, stuff that needs painting. We have we have this handy man that's had it, been around for a very long time, and he just does all the things in the background, uh, and he doesn't get recognised for it. So, one team. Oh, yeah, Well done, Ron. Uh, and the last one, the big one. Well, we'll figure it out. It's a bit bigger anyway. This goes to a guy who just 
he's, he's, like, he's consistent. He just keeps on going, keeps on doing the same thing. And he's been doing the same thing now for 12 years. And we appreciate everything he does. And that would go to Mark Hale. One thing I forgot to mention in my, in my speech was that this year, Lowe and I went to Adelaide with my lovely wife, Deb, and we ended up going to uh, Government House to pick up an award from St John's. We, we do, when, when we do our uh, phone books and our cake runs and stuff like that, we involve St John's as much as we can because they use their money to, to train their cadets. And because we've done that, we were nominated for the most vulnerable order of, it's a priority, it's a priority in Australia, some sort of vote of banks, but it's quite, it's quite a prestigious award that we got. You know, I'd like to go up and get up on stage with a, and got presented with by the Governor of South Australia. And it's all it's all a vote of thanks for actually helping our cadets locally um, to help buy their equipment and to help to, um, train the cadets with the money that we raise or they raise with us that we give to them. So, you know, so that'll be part of our history over there. We had to um, get it uh, reset because when we first picked it up, it said the wild on Mount Laura the Boyne's Club. <laughs> So we had to go back to England. People in England decided again and send it back to us to say, well, they were a Lions club. So the Lions club. Sure. Yeah. Thank you. All right, so that's enough for me. And that's, uh, if I had a microphone now, I guess I could just drop it. That's the, that's the my five, end of my five years, but it's been great. I love every bit of it. Uh, Deb, Deb can um, back me up with this. Sometimes you have a busy day at work and then it comes to a Lions Club meeting. I'm going to go to the Lions Club meeting. But when I get there, I have a great time. And I've made a lot of good friends. And we have some fun. And I'll be doing everything out of that. So I hope everybody can, from the club will support Barry in the next year. I know I will. And I'll help him out as much as I can. Right, so if you show him the same respect, and confidence that you show the next, we should have a good year. Right. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thanks, Steve. Now, can we call on Steve, first vice district governor? Come up and, and perform the induction of a president elect Barry Onsley. Thanks, Dave. Yeah. Right. Yeah, as, um, I've not met everyone, I've sort of spoke to a fair few of us. Steve Forster, I'm the incoming district governor for next year. And from Port Augusta, and uh, my wife Anne Marie is the same chairperson for this area as well. So uh, it's really, really great to always get invited to come out and see clubs and do handovers, and especially I think uh, have the most fun on this part of the world with uh, from Cow to Kimbo to you know Woodner, the, the Kiwala Creeks, and uh, the Peterborough, the, the clubs I've seen. To interact really well and have great fun and great memories, and uh, I'm sure the other clubs are like that. But you know, I think some of the clubs out outside of Adelaide have uh, you know, a bit more cohesive and uh, you know more community minded. Uh, that's the way life is outside of the city. It's really so. It's uh, as I said, it's really great, and yeah, I've been asked to uh, up the new board. Um, it's. Uh, the memberships are pretty good. If you have them around, both the Whale Club memberships are around the 18 mark, and, and that's pretty strong. There's a lot of clubs with lot of members, and, and what, what the clubs do is amazing, as you know, what's within the, uh, the book. You know, and if we weren't here, who would, who would do it? So, you know, we've got a, an absolute pride in place in the communities, and, uh, and the communities are better off for 
what we do to support them. So uh, we should all uh, be very happy and thankful for uh, contributing. Uh, just to express the gratitude to the previous board members as they complete their uh, term of service with the club. And uh, it's obviously five years is, uh, is a fair while. So it's good that there's some changes happening with other, other lines get involved now. So uh, the, uh, okay, so can I just confirm <coughs> that the current club secretary is the line who have all, as the new board, um, uh, they've been duly elected. Yes, they have. They have, yep. And provided the uh, club constitution and bylaws, maybe not. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> I never doubted it. Um, and they understand their responsibilities and the positions they'll hold. Yep, brilliant. Okay, so that that's uh, time now for, uh, if Barry would like to come up as the incoming uh, president. <laughs> hey, that's not funny, I was in Apex. <laughs> and, a, and a good friend of uh, Rowan, um, Mr. Uh, Mr. Kipling. Mr. He, uh, they took me up to Saltai to have a barbecue. And uh, it was made very clear that when they grabbed me, there was a goat involved. You don't know, you know where salt is on the way to court. There's a lot of goats up there, so they had me, they had me going for a while, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, never recovered. Uh, some of them still here. Uh, this is the first one I'm doing this year, so when I get home, I'll throw all this paper away and put it all onto one one piece of paper. I should really be able to do it off the top of my head. Though. Okay. So this is the little official bit here. Okay. So I'll read it out and then we'll uh... So, Lauren Barry, you've been elected to the Office of President of uh, your club, which is Wyala about Laura. Uh, you are the Chief Executive Officer. Feel the power. <laughs> now, now, your success will be a reflection on your club's success. Now is the time to continue building your club in every way possible, so that it may be an example for other clubs. And credit to the community, the district, and the Lions Club International. So, will you preside at all regular special meetings of your club and board of directors if you have them? Appoint standing special committees and ensure their success. Will you also serve as an active member of the district governor's advisory committee? I do. Yeah. I do. <laughs> we'll tell you about that later on. Um, and attend meetings in your zone. Will you, as uh, president, perform all your duties as provided by your club's governing documents to the best of your ability? If so, please answer. I will. I will. So, uh, so would you uh, would you like to um, call up your your secretary? Yep. And anyone else that you want to call up, David. <laughs> Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, serious. <laughs> okay, so to you as the line president, I hand over 
the devil and the uh, yep. Um, so yep. Um, as a symbol of human authority on behalf of the membership of the club, I want to assure you of their readiness to follow you in your leadership during the term of office. Now, Barry, it's my personal pleasure to congratulate you on the officially made president of the I'm not much of a talker, much more, more of a doer, so my little speech won't be very long. So, hi everybody. I would like to noise that we have a great club who work hard to raise money for the community and the Lions projects. I'm looking forward to the challenge of being present. Also, we'd like to thank Steve and Graham for the hard work. Thank you. Barry, I'm okay, Barry. Barry, I'm keeping the big chair. That's going around the other side of the place. I'm not the calendar. Thanks, Steve. Congratulations, Barry. And David and Mark. We've got some rabble to do. Has anyone organised that? Yeah. We've got some rabble to do. 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 We've got some rabble to do.